I think 64 teams, but I think the minimum is 16. If you had 16 teams, then I think we could settle a whole lot of these issues. You know, it doesn't matter with the East Coast or Los Angeles or anybody in between things. All of a sudden, there's 16 teams. Oh, geez, number 16 beat number four. Well, screw number four. Number four is out, you see, because number 16 got them. You know, I mean, that'd pretty well solve all of it, wouldn't it? And then 32, you could easily do 32. And then, um, uh, and then the, the, you know, the most stunning thing, and I give this lecture probably three times every year, but um, then college football says, they scratch their head and they give a really befuddled, mixed up look, and they get a really screwy expression on their face. Like, well, how can that possibly be? I mean, how can we do that? I mean, how is it possible that you could actually have a playoff format in college football? Well, gee, I don't know. Let's start with, uh, we, we can go down to the local city park and I'll bet you somebody that handles youth football could tell you how to do something like that. Well, that's too low of a scale. Let's move it up a little bit. Okay, how about high school from a major state? Let's say Texas, Florida, or California. Let's see how they do it. Okay, let's see, these guys, you know, they win a certain number of games, they have a qualification. Okay, now, boom, they're in the playoffs. But they don't have just two or four teams or something. Hell no, because they want everybody to have fun and enjoy this playoff system. So they have 16 or 32 or 64 or something like that. Okay, so then they play each other, and everybody's on the edge of their seat going to wait and see if this team's going to beat that team or going to beat the other team. And so then, <clears throat> uh, in the end, there's occasionally a debate. If only this team hadn't lost to that team in this round, then this team could have won the whole thing, and that's perhaps true. But the thing that is indisputable is that at the end of the gauntlet, this team came out on, on number one, and there's no debate whatsoever who state champion. And then you can go to Division Three. Let's see, how do they do it? Oh, they do it the exact same way. Okay, now the suspense is really starting to get thick because, you know, Division Two might do it differently. No, in fact, they don't. They do it exactly, exactly, boys and girls, like Division Three does. And then now they've changed the initials because in this era of political correctness, they love to change initials and make it proper to say things one way instead of another. And I forget what the initials is. But then they go to 1AA. Okay, at 1AA. How do they do it in 1AA? 1AA. I mean, because that's getting closer to us, and we're really sophisticated because we're major, major 1A. How do they do it in 1AA? You know what? They have a playoff format, and they play it, and they figure it out. And, and, and then, um, okay, 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 well, that's, they're all below us. Okay, what about above us, the NFL? And everybody, you know, that just makes you feel good to roll those initials off your, uh, it's like Huckleberry Finn said, some days I just have to swear to get a good taste in my mouth. Okay, so then NFL, now that makes my mouth feel good because that's the best and they're the top. Let's see here, how did they figure out their champion? <clears throat> well, they in fact organize a playoff system. And how many teams are in there? A hell of a lot more than four. And then they sort it all out, and then <clears throat> they, <clears throat> they have one battle after the next. And at the end, guess what? They sort out a champion, and it's called the Super Bowl. And there, there's not interest diminished because people are captivated by the playoffs. And the biggest sporting event every year in the history of the world is the Super Bowl. Okay, any questions? Well, um, okay, so in, in major college, uh, or in major um, big high school states, usually a champion plays 16. So I think your target point is 16. So you shoot for 16. And then uh, that's what a Division two ends up to. A Division three, uh, maybe it's 15. One double A usually it's 16. Major high school it's 16. NFL it's more than that. So I think our target's 16. And you could easily, you know, uh, started out. And then, then the other thing that I think college foolishly does is they just give the NFL December. I mean, there's no sense in that. I mean, you could be having playoff games there in December and everybody 
could potentially live happily ever after. And then the other thing is you could even sort the schedule in such a way that you have an off week one week, half of America has an off week one week, the other half has an off week the next week, and you never have to play somebody after the off week. If you wanted to go 64, which I think would be brilliant, <clears throat> 10 regular season games, 10 regular season games. Okay, play your 10 games. Okay, then, but everybody's guaranteed 12 for their budget, and this would be exciting too. Everybody's guaranteed 12. Play your 10 regular season games. Okay, and then uh, get to 64. Okay, so so you're playing, and, and then halfway in between the 10 regular season games, like say around uh, five and six, half the country's off. Then and half the country's playing. Then the other half the country's off. The other half the country's playing. Okay, so you have a built-in break. Okay, so then <clears throat> as you get towards the end of the season. Some teams know they're not going to make the 64. So you have a week off to, um, to uh, select the 64. So on that week off, a couple teams that know they're not making the 64, they schedule, you know, uh, uh, to, for one of their 12 games. They schedule it. And so it's like, uh, you know, somebody, say, on the West Coast, play somebody way over on the East Coast so we can sort out all this East Coast bias we're talking about. I mean, maybe that team could get to the bottom of it, and we would all be enriched by what they discover. Okay, so then, um, so then after they get done doing that, um, then you've sorted the 64, and several teams have done uh, one of their 12 games or additional games are allowed. Okay, then you the the first of the 64, you go home and home with somebody locally, you know, kind of within your region. So, you, you know, you do something um, nearby, something like, uh, I mean, just depending how the season goes or whatever. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's Oregon versus Utah State, you know, for the first. So you do a home and home. Whoever's got the best record, uh, the, the team with the worst record has to come to your place. You play home and home. Okay, so then, then after that, you get the Bulls involved. But you're at the Bulls for a shorter period of time. Because you're just basically getting there to the bowl, doing it. But the Bulls know how to put on big games, and then 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 the Bulls, uh, the number works out almost perfectly for uh, the additional games, um, the additional playoff games. Okay, so then um, uh, then after that you get the Bulls involved, and then it's other locations. And I do think there should be some more northern locations as uh, we sort this out. Okay, so then. <coughs> about, <coughs> about halfway through that playoff system, you could have another break, okay? And then the teams that haven't finished out their 12 games, they could play during uh, that period of time. And I get a kick out of it, and it's just comical. They say, well, nobody would watch those games. Oh, baloney. I mean, my wife would watch them. I'd go home and, and, and you know, after a hard day's work and there's something on on Thursday, and uh, – you want to know where the sandwich stuff is and the grocery stuff is? Well, you can't because she's watching the game. There's a game on Thursday. I mean, somebody in the Mac's playing, and, oh, my gosh, are they going to score? Are they going to stop them? I don't know, but I know this. I'm not, <clears throat> you know, I'm not going to be able to sort out where all the groceries are anytime soon on that, you know, because uh, I don't go in the kitchen that much, so I'm just pulling cupboard doors open. And so then um, – um, Heck yeah, they'd watch, and they'd watch a lot. And then <clears throat> and you could make the matchups real interesting and everything else. Okay, so then back to the then you get back to the playoffs, and so you go. You could get it all done uh, by uh, January 1st or sooner, depending on how you did it. And you can even just map out the weeks, and it works out pretty easy. And then um, uh, the other thing is, is uh, – uh, Heck, yeah, people would watch. And if there's something riding on the game, there's all of a sudden people just like they do in basketball. They'd select teams and dark horses or favorites that they wanted. They'd <clears throat> have little, uh, you know, they'd, 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 they'd have little sheets with, uh, you know, office pools and everything else. And, uh, you know, they would, uh, uh, they'd either laugh and taunt their friends or the other way around as their team did well. And, 
um, yeah, it'd be fantastic. And there's there's no disputing that it would make a lot more money. It's just who gets the money, and I think that's the biggest rub on the whole thing. 